Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here with Anne-Laure Tunzer, who is the director USA for Atout France, which is the French tourist board. And we're just finishing up a wonderful lunch here in a French restaurant, Benoit, which is an Alain Ducasse restaurant. And we were here to talk about Côte d'Azur. But we're going to ask Anne-Laure about what's going on in France today, uh, because it is open, open for business, and you can send your clients there right now. And you're going to find out about all that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, and Laura, first of all, this has been a while since we've done one of these, right? It has been a long time, and we are so, you know, so glad to uh, to be back together. Absolutely, and we're great. And the best thing about all this is that France is open, right? France is open. It has been open since June 9, and we have a tremendous response from the American uh, market. Uh, not only American, but it's true. We are in the U.S. right now, and seeing what we are saying in terms of booking, it's simply amazing. Now, what are the requirements to get into France? Now, you have to no testing anymore, right? No testing. It's very easy. If you are a vaccinated traveler, you just come with your smile, and don't forget to get tested when you go back to the U.S. But going to France, you don't need a test. If you are unvaccinated, this is when you need a test before uh, entering a PCR test. Now, do you have to fill out a health declaration form or something? No, nothing anymore. There is no more health pass, you know, like uh, just you and your envy to visit France. And then, of course, I remember because I was just in Cannes, as you were, uh, uh, last June, December, and I had to get my crazy little cardboard uh, health surf, uh, vaccination certification, I got to go to a pharmacy and get that into electronic form. You do you have to do that anymore? Not anymore. It's okay. uh, only you, your vaccination card if you are vaccinated, and that's all. That's fantastic, and obviously we're going to have to go back very soon. Now, the biggest thing is, though, is that you, you have really been doing a lot during the COVID era, and I believe the French government, Tourist Board, is investing heavily in tourism, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. We have been uh, lucky to uh, get a strong support from the government, so the professional in the travel industry um, were able to uh, keep on, you know, like doing what they love most. Um, the government helped a lot uh, in terms of, um, of budget, of course, but to make sure that everybody stay at work. Um, but on top of this, you know, like f uh, tourism has been erected as a national priority for France. Which is interesting because I was, it should have been a national priority a long before this, but here it is, it now will be, right? Indeed, and, it, and now it will be. So uh, Emmanuel Macron announced back in November a five uh, plan uh, for tourism with a 2.2 billion euro uh, budget to um, not only make sure that our travel offering remain re uh, relevant, uh, but to help with training, for um, to help with um, uh, innovating uh, in our travel offering. Mm -hmm. And so we have been uh, working on this since the plan was announced, and it will be for five years, making sure that uh, our uh, hotel rating is up to date. And this is what we are working on, training, um, hotel rating, the travel offering, investment, and helping a professional to develop new products. That's great, and of course, and, and so what, what, is visita what was visitation like from America specifically last year? Okay, so we, uh, if I go back to 2019, okay. we uh, welcomed 4.5 million Americans. So the number went down, you know, like in 2020, 2021, we were not at uh, numbers we were uh, hoping for, but it's getting better and better. And uh, talking to our uh, partner, airline partner, travel advisors, we see that the interest for France is very strong. Uh, and especially for this summer, which are key months for American travel to France, with June and July being uh, uh, the most important uh, months in terms of booking. Mm -hmm. And we see that the, um, the booking level is, again, not at 100%, but we are getting there. <laughs> no, and absolutely. And also, a lot of hotels have opened, uh, d you know, either were being built or were about ready to open, and now they're opening all over the place. Right? Yes, it's, it's like the investment not only did didn't stop, but we uh, invested even more. Uh, so last year we had the opening of Cheval Blanc in Paris, Les Erelles at Versailles. Uh, we had Le Mayborn uh, Riviera that opened in Roquebrune. So it's in Menton between Nice and the Italian border. And the property is simply stunning. So it's an illustration of what is happening in France right now. No, and it's great. And so you can get, send your clients back to France now. I was there briefly uh, for the international luxury travel market in Cannes in December. It was
was a great place to be there. And now, of course, pretty much all the restrictions, except for maybe the unvaccinated, uh, are it's wide open and you can go, uh, which I think a lot of Americans still are worried. Well, the other thing is they're worried about testing positive on the way back. I think we're almost on the verge that that's going to end pretty soon, we think. And, uh, absolutely. And you know what is uh, interesting? Um, France has always been popular on the U.S. market, right? But even more, we see uh, two operators uh, taking their, their sales force to France, um, but in big, big, in big numbers, like uh, almost everyone, you have a sales team looking at what's happening or what had happened during the pandemic in France to better sell mm -hmm. the product to their clients. And because they are facing a very um, uh, important demand for France. So I, I, I love this time. <laughs> it is good trend. And so 22 is going to be a pretty good year. And we think 23 is going to be even better, right? Yes. And we have many reasons for that we have um, we will be hosting many events yeah, so talk about some of those events because there are a lot coming up absolutely right? we will have in 2023 the FIS uh, Alpine Ski uh, Championship in Meribel and Courchevel we will have the 100th anniversary of the mythic 24-hour race Le Mans we will have the Rugby World Cup in September and in October. So that's been booking very well, right, for Americans, right? Absolutely. You know, like we have like the, the nation like uh, UK or Ireland and, and the rugby nation traditional uh, who um, have shown interest in the event. But more surprisingly, we have Americans who are uh, buying tickets in a big number. And when you know that the Major League Rugby only started in 2018, it's pretty amazing. And we will have in 2024 uh, the Olympic Games in Paris. Oh, that's I, I've lost track. I you lost track, and so, so we have many uh, sporting events, and not only sporting events, but those, those are key events that uh, resonate all around the world. And um, so we are busy planning uh, to make sure that uh, travelers who will come to enjoy this moment are um, very well hosted. Uh, now, do, anything else you'd like to say to the, uh, we have 100,000 travel advisors out there, anything else you'd like to tell them about France uh, for uh, 22 and 23? 22 and 23, um, I mentioned earlier the many opening, uh, the strong desire of French people to host your clients you know, and your readers, so please reach out to us, we will have an uh, event uh, uh, such as the one we are uh, uh, organizing with the Riviera, with the Côte d'Azur French Regional Tourism Board. Um, of course, the Côte d'Azur is on the front line to see uh, this very strong interest from American travelers. It has always been a destination that Americans had at heart, but it's even um, even more true uh, right now. So um, we uh, can't wait to host your client, to host you. So please reach out to, uh, to our office. We will be uh, in Texas. We'll be in Miami for Sea Trade uh, in Texas with Nice um, in uh, in June. We will be uh, on the West Coast as well, you know, like over the spring. Um, please join us. We have a lot to share. And uh, where can travel advisors go to get more information about France today? Okay, so the, um, we will uh, subscribe to our newsletter. France.fr is our website where you find uh, many information. We have an e-learning platform that will be launched uh, in the upcoming week. Uh, for uh, for travel advisors uh, to get a better knowledge of uh, our destination, so please um, reach us, uh, reach um, us, and uh, we will be there, you know, to share all information you might need. Um, no, that's great. Now, this, so there you go. You got new new training program coming up, a lot going on in France. And Laura, thank you so much for taking some time. And uh, we just had a lovely meal, wow. French meal, <laughs> and uh, we're celebrating Côte d'Azur here. Uh, and it's been, it's been great to see you in person. Finally, it's been a long time. We did see each other at some conferences, but we haven't done a live interview like this in more almost three years. Absolutely, we have been missing you, <laughs> and we are so glad that we were able to catch up this week. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>